Gotham City, your one and only Harley Quinn of Hearts back again to help the hopelessly romantic and broken hearted souls of Gotham City. If it's matters of the heart, it matters to me. Our first letter comes from a curious cat lady out of East Gotham who needs my professional help with picking a paramour. Fickle Cat Mom writes, Dear Cupid of Crime, I'm in love with two different men and I don't know how to choose. The first guy is my dream come true, rich and handsome, except he's kind of a playboy and so straight laced. The second guy is aloof and mysterious. Trying to get his full attention is like playing a game of cat and mouse, but I love the challenge. I don't know anything substantial about him, but late at night, I find myself looking out across the rooftops and thinking of him. Whew. Rich and boring, or dark and mysterious? How do I pick only one? Whew. Someone's a popular kitty. I say, quit stringing those tomcats along, honey. Dump the playboy. Life's too short to be bored. <laughs> Try pushing Mr. Dark and Distance buttons. Have you considered doing something flashy to get his attention? If it were me, I'd plan a big heist downtown. Nothing says notice me like your face plastered across the Sunday papers. Hope that helps, hun. Our next writer is an anxious office worker with a friend turned stalker. This city, oi vey. Ugh. Lost and confused in Wonderland writes, Dear Diva of Desire, my co-worker has always been a really great friend of mine. So sweet and always there when I need a shoulder to cry on. Aww. I really thought I could count on him no matter what until recently. He asked me out a few months ago, out of the blue, and seemed understanding when I said no. But lately, I've caught him staring hungrily at me. And he's even muttering my name under his breath. Last week, he even blew up at my fiance when he surprised me with roses. Is it possible to get my friend back or should I just go to HR? You know what? He kind of sounds like this guy that I know. Really short dude, kind of got buck teeth, really loves kids literature. Say, are you blonde by chance? I think your friendship is a lost cause, toots. Some guys just don't know the meaning of the word no. I say, report the creep, and just in case, switch to some stylish tinfoil headwear. Also, maybe stop drinking tea at the office for a little while. Can't be too careful in Gotham after all. <laughs> hmm. Our next poor, sad soul is a fella after my own heart. Shattered to Bits has this to say. Dear Harlequin of Hearts, I went to surprise my boyfriend for his birthday and I overheard him telling our friends he doesn't love me and he's only dating me because I hounded him so much in the beginning. We've been together for two and a half years and he was the one always bugging me for dates. What should I do? You know, my on again, off again beau, Mr. J used to do this to me all the time. It was humiliating. I knew he really loved me deep down but he was so obsessed with his image and not looking weak in front of our friends. I say, if you have any friends with those mind control doohickeys, try taking that and having him profess his undying love for you on the Jumbotron downtown. That'd show him. Or, I guess if you don't have any friends with any mind control doohickeys, then dump the slimy rat. You deserve someone who's gonna brag about you to your friends. You deserve someone who'll brag about your criminal exploits to your friends at the weekly poker night. You deserve to be at the weekly polka night! You deserve anniversary presents and cuddles and breakfast in bed and weekend getaways and to be looked at the same way he looks at a grown man dressed as a giant bat! <clears throat> well, that's our show for today, folks. I'm Finn, your happy hostess, Holly Quinn. Join us again next week for another exciting show. And remember, love is no laughing matter. <laughs>
Oh no, I dropped the cards. Good thing I numbered them. Yeah. Cool. Sneaky. <clears throat> From the top. Alright, I think that was good. Let's stop and see. 